Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So through popular demand, uh, I'm going to make an update video, which I haven't done in quite a while. But before I get into that, I want to mention that I am back on Patreon and I'm using it in a different way. Previously what I was doing was just posting videos on there and people were able to see those videos in advance. But now my goal is that I'm going to use it kind of like a Twitter where I could do updates live with everyone. So it's kind of like a Twitter and a Facebook combined. And I'll do updates on fish videos before they even go out, topics for my fish videos, updates, so all those good, all that good stuff will be out on a live platform instead of having to wait for these videos to come out every week. Um, I've also started some discussions that I've posted on the Guppy Fish Enthusiast page using Patreon, so anyone can chime in and discuss. So one of the discussions was, when you breed fish, what do you breed for, like what characteristics? So if you guys ever want to participate in those discussions, just check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. So, with that said, let's actually get into the actual updates. There has been a lot of changes. So right now in this tank, what we have is my Dumbo Ear Red Mosaic Dragons. These guys I did get from Guppy Train, which is uh, information is in the, link below, the description below as well if you want to check them out. But I have one male and two females, and the females should be giving birth soon. You see them right over here. They should be giving birth soon, so I moved them into this tank and added a lot of plants. So we have a lot of java moss down here. That is my Anubius Nan, uh, Anubius, and then Anubius Nana is down there. Then we got the roots from all the pothos. We got some more roots over here, so all the fry could hide in that. And it should be enough coverage for the uh, enough cover for the uh, fry to hide in. Um, I had my nebula steel in there before and it worked out pretty well, but if you guys have checked out my last videos, um, if you've been around, it's a, Home Aquatics has been around for almost, for actually a little bit over two years now, this plant, this new uh, pothos, has been growing for quite a while. It originally started with this plant, this little guy right here, it stemmed around the whole tank and then eventually had like a bunch of leaves right in this back section which are these right now. Uh, I got rid of that vine section and I cut it yesterday actually. And I cut them out. So right now it's just this piece and I gotta wait until it sprouts some uh, roots. But it's in the back of here where the breeder boxes overflow into. There's a bunch of shrimp in there too. They just help keep the water clean. Um, but that's what I've done with those. And then we got another pothos right here with their roots. So. Pothos is very good for filtering your tanks, and I like to keep it around. And there's a little another little plant back there, so we got a bunch of that. These breeder boxes are where I'm doing my selective breeding for my shrimp. Uh, so these guys, you can see my one of my previous videos are the blue velvets. So there's four total in here, adults actually. And then, if you look very closely, there's some babies in there as well. It's a little messy in here; it does have to be cleaned up. You can see some little babies from them. And then over here was the selectively red ones. For some reason, they're kind of red instead of blue. So I might have accidentally bred the wrong characteristics that I wanted. I'll just have to wait and see and let them grow up a little bit. They're almost adult size, so they might start coloring up. But from my experience with shrimp, they usually color up pretty... They're pretty young. Um, and then in attempts to keep the water aerated, I have this weird contraption coming out of where the third breeder box used to be. I actually got rid of that and I'll explain what these plants are. But it used to be here. I didn't really use it because it wasn't getting too much light over here so I kept getting the diatoms all over the back. Diatoms, diatoms, whatever they're called. <laughs> so I got rid of that and put these here and this cup is just making it so it's not so loud and it's just aerating the water a little. I was going to put an air pump but air pumps are a little too noisy for this. These two cups are my avocado seeds. So I tried messing around with them. This one still has not sprouted. And this one's been here for about three months. So if I could gently take them out, show you what this guy looks like. So it has a very nice root system already going on. Um, I changed the water pretty much weekly. And if you look really closely in the middle, there's a stem growing. So I just have to wait until this guy gets bigger. What they recommend is once the stem like reaches about like this high, about six inches, you cut it back and let it just keep sprouting. But we haven't got to that level yet. Uh, he does have an actual destination when I move to the new location where Home Aquatics will be. Um, but 
If you guys follow the Patreon, you'll know what those uh, changes will be soon. Next tank is kind of a mixture. So in here we have my only surviving albino koi female. And she should be giving birth pretty soon. I threw in a nebula steel male into here. And he should be the father of the next generation of fry. Can't really see him. I did do a water chain so the fish are a little hiding around and everything. This tank is just some grow out tanks for all the shrimp. There is a lot in here. I have no idea, I've never counted, I don't even want to start counting. But I started off with 8 and now, I'm, if I have to estimate, there's maybe 50 or plus. So that's what that tank is, nothing too notable about it, and just a bunch of plants for them to scavenge through. This tank is a grow out tank for some fry. The only fry I have in here are my um, Dumbo Ear Pandas. Can't really see them at the moment, oh, they're right down here. Some Dumbo Ear Pandas. Right, there's one. These guys are still pretty young. Um, they're maybe close to a month old. And then back there is my Nebula Steel guppies. See them right there. They're all very young as well. Those are just having there for now and to let them grow out. Once they do grow out, I'll be selling them to my local fish store because I want to focus just on the Dumbo Ear uh, varieties. So that'll be my specialty is going to be the Dumbo Ear varieties and if I get anything to come about of the albino koi guppies. That's pretty much where the fish room is. I do have some succulents back here, a few cactus that have been growing. This is like a little experiment to mess around with. And yeah, that's really about it. I do have the home aquatic store in this box. So those are for the decals of the Channel, so when the introductory in introduction starts, um, that logo you see, I do have those on decals. They're 2.75 inches by 1.75 inches, and you can purchase those on my website. The link is in the description below as well. And other than that, that's really all I got. Guppy Fish Enthusiast is close to 25, almost 26,000 members, constantly growing. Uh, I'm still doing the updates on there with the uh, monthly giveaways for the pictures. And really, that's all that Home Aquatics has been up to. Haven't really done too much. I've been focusing a lot on these fish, but I don't want to expand anything in here right now because of what's to come in the very near future. I've been very vague about it because I haven't given a lot of details, but I'm going to estimate within the next month or two there's going to be a huge live stream where you guys could all join. So keep that in mind that that is coming soon, the live stream. That will reveal the exact changes that are going to happen. Alright guys, that's all I got. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking it out and subscribe. If you're returning, drop a like, a comment, share the video, and I'll get back to you guys. Alright, have a good one, and thanks for checking it out.